his way in. But on, I mean, it, Log4j is, a, is an example, right? There was, a, there was a scathing set of articles around like, oh, this is the end of open source because the source of, you know, of the vulnerability came from an open source project. Um, that is very, a very myopic viewpoint, right? All software has bugs and issues and flaws. And so I, for me personally, if you balance the ability to, you know, to look into proprietary code behind a firewall and figure out where the problem occurred, it's incumbent upon the, the, the software developer to really yeah. self, to find that themselves mm -hmm. versus the open source code where, where immediately the entire world can evaluate that code, find the flaw, address right. it you know, in an open manner. That is a much faster path to, if you just accept that so, you know, hum, humans, humans, humans write code, we all make mistakes, like there's gonna, you know, or, or just not, you know, not anticipate everything. In the, if you make the assumption that there will be, there will be bugs and security flaws in, in software, would you rather have complete transparency that anyone can help find it and yep. see it and we can all evaluate it and there can be you know thousands of people that, or it's all on one company to basically self you know self right. you know self assess so it, you know to me it's it's um, it, it wasn't a scathing indictment of open, open source it was a confirmation of you know how they work together the, you know and to and to Gab's point right it's it then what it does is raises the you know, raises the awareness of the importance of how you govern open yeah. source, mm -hmm. and you make sure you've got a vibrant community continuing to look at it and develop it, and um, you know where you get in trouble in any situation is when the code starts to just get stale and nobody's updating it and maintaining it and putting it into the context of today's yeah. challenges. So, yeah. and I think along those lines, um, definitely security is the number one pushback or question that right. I get, but then there's also longevity. So if it's community sourced, what is the effort that goes into yeah. maintaining it? Does it die quickly? Mm -hmm. And I think what we've started to see now is that sometimes the, the name, the, the incubator of the open source platform actually can close, but the open source uh, code or platform itself continues on. And that's because you have the community who have established these uh, open governance protocols that live beyond that moment in time when a name is attached to the platform itself. Mm -hmm. um, so the longevity piece to me, I think, is starting to prove itself to not be problematic. I also think thinking about is open source actually enterprise level uh, yeah. platform or is it just you know something that you're gonna do in your garage or right. a group of people. That's right. Um, and it, you know, I won't go through the list of global companies who have uh, started to use open source platforms to power their products. Um, I would wager that most people don't realize they're using open source platforms every single day in their yeah. life. Um, so that, to me, answers the question around uh, enterprise grade or not, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I would actually right. add one final thing, kind of. Uh, Please. Besides what you said, I mean, I think the concept of uh, open source as a hobbyist, uh, you know, uh, right. Steve Ballmer 20 years mm. ago, sort of mm -hmm. uh, shooting down on Linux. Um, I think we're past that. We're seeing even yeah. financial service institutions, the largest investment banks, for example, in Finos, contributing to open source. But I think the last uh, sort of myth that is going to be dispelled is this idea of, you know, open source equals free or open source has no commercial yes. value sort of related to sort right, of the enterprise right. readiness. I mean, I think over the last three years between the you know, Red Hat and GitHub, uh, as well as several exits and IPOs of much smaller um, yeah. sort of commercial open source endeavors, I think we are sort of past that stage as well. But that would be a number of sort of free myth that, mm -hmm. that I think uh, well, I've seen a, over the last 